All right, Captain. So some thoughts um, other than haha, your band plays zombie just playing. Um, so something I might have asked is whether you're going to be playing acoustic guitar on this or not. Um, either way, I think it's probably a good exercise to work on the uh, part with the you know alternate picking. I don't think the pull off will actually present problems for you. And if you hit, here's me hitting one too many strings by accident. Still sounds alright. So, but you know, so maybe actually learn that you know down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. That's the weird part because it's one, and two, and three. And yeah, so down, up, down, 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 up, down. So there we go. Um, but if you're playing acoustic, I had a secondary idea that it might actually sound better without the. Um, pull-offs with the timbre of an acoustic guitar. So you might go D to this F rather than just on here, you know, starting with your in drop D going, which is way easier for you. And I'm not playing all those notes, I'm just going. So yeah, you might actually get away with, it might sound better to go on an acoustic guitar rather than you know what I'm saying so but either way I'd suggest probably learn them both and then it would be like oh yeah you'd have to go boom, boom, still um cool there we are I think the rest of you are pretty clear on um we're just harnessing our natural momentum with those down up choices uh, like if it was if I was like here's our new song you would totally do the natural right-hand choices for that. Um, so it's good that it's a bit of a tongue twister to do uh, the pull-offs in that context for you. And this is a, a cool part of guitar that makes certain power chord stuff easier. And it sounds like you guys play some alt rock here and there, like Zombie by the Cranberries. In which case, there might be some riff or in the future or some song in D where you want to hear more of that type of timbre. Alright kiddo, I will see you in three weeks, which is your 10th lesson of 10. I hope we're continuing whatever tangents we want to follow up on, whether it's um, expanding your fretboard vision, working on just tightening up the songs that your band plays in the set, suggestions for what to add to your skill set next at whatever pace uh, i hope we keep working together would be super psyched on multiple levels um enjoy the lessons and of course do not mind the income either way you're doing great hang in there uh try not to be too rough on yourself the part where you learn it is just the part where you learn it you know it's all good see you soon